Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are back once more in this cursed estate and we are taking out our new class here. And this right now, this here, is simply Guy. And you might be able to tell why. Um, and I wrote the backstory for this guy. This is Guy the Slayer. And his backstory is against all evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we send unto them only him. Rip and tear until it is done. And if you don't understand what that reference is, then you've been living under a rock. But we brought on we brought on our Doom Slayer um here as just a really good class to have, and he's really, really good in the um crystal area. Uh in the Farm? What the hell's it called? The farmstead, yeah. Uh, so we're bringing him along. We're doing another level 4 mission again that is um, a master long mission. It went well last time and we had some complications. This time we've got a little bit of a different setup going on. Uh, Zai's going to be our healer here. I'm bringing Zai because she is a very, very potent healer. She has Cure Blight Bleed. We also have Cure Blight Bleed here as well. Um, so that's going to be good. I'm bringing Sunasis again. She is level 6. Uh, so she isn't really going to be getting next to me from this. But basically Sunasis is going to be helping us power level people at this point. Um, so we're going to get people up as high level as we can. We don't want to spend too long pooting around with everyone at level 4. So we're going to be using Sunasis on a lot of missions, as long as she can stay alive, to guide people and up their level. So we bring out her, um, her Murabi as well, with the straight up damage up. He's got plus 45% damage up here as a base. Uh, Guy here as the crit build with the stress relief on crit, so that you can hopefully stay relatively, um, relatively unstressed. Uh, so we're looking pretty good here. The last thing I have to check really is our camp skills. Uh, so we've got accuracy there. That's good. Yeah, all of them don't really matter. Bypass stealth. That's pretty good. Um, that's decent. That's good. That's good. Okay, Zai here. There you go. That, there's our Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Remove disease. That's really good because we really want to remove the worries here. So I'm very happy to have that. Um... Don't think there's anything else we need here. And then here we've got some good stuff as well. Yeah, th I think this is pretty good. I think we have some good stuff here that we can work with. Uh, let's try this out. She's just going with a full-on prop, by the way, because she's only got low base HP. Whereas these lot, especially like Hammurabi, he's got pretty high base HP. He has his self-heal and stuff like that, but for the most part, he's going to be absolutely fine. So we're going to take all these guys out and see how they perform. We're going for the uh, Penta-Dimensional not, um, Autonomy by Emmanuel... I, I, I just I'm struggling to read this but plus 35 healing skill on the rescuer that's insane so we're definitely definitely going for that so let's jump on right into our provision screen and get going with this of course we start with our area guide uh, we're going to be taking all the food we can five shovels we're going to take six of all of these And we'll take a bunch of torches as well. There you go. I think we're good. We could take the summon pages as well, but I really don't want to mess with that on a on an already risky mission. Uh, we'll take a few loudenum as well, just to just to just just to see how that goes. Um, no, do you know what? We best we best take four just in case we need them. Uh, and let's uh, hop out and see what we can do here. I'm not ex even sure what this mission is for. I'm not sure what we're doing on this one. I think this is one where we're just clearing out rooms. But this should be a decent party. I'm a little worried about the Slayer, but he does have 40 maximum HP. He should be okay. He should be able to manage his stress, and his moveset's pretty good too. He can help the team a lot. He's got a lot of debuffs. So let's get out in there. And we do have our first diary entry here, and this is uh, an entry for Chasey. And she says, uh, this is by Cell, by the way. She says, it's a pity, really. The fool David thought that he'd get the jump on me after realizing the touch of my charm on him. Unfortunately for him, I'm not just a pretty face. My pact might give me a life-leeching power, but I also train my body to be swift like an arrow and my mind to be sharp like a knife. He figured he could lure me into the woods outside the hamlet and slay me, but the attempt was frankly pathetic. He clumsily swung an axe at my neck, but I easily avoided it, then thrust my dagger. The earth had enough sense to parry the attack, but he hadn't gone for my strongest weapon. By the time he realized, it was too late. My hand plunged deep into his chest, pulsing veins of irides iridescent, yeah, iridescent crimson along my arm. I doubt he will be missed. So, Chasey, the succubus, 
has actually killed and murdered David. David is no more. He is he is gone. He doesn't he isn't part of our team. He's not coming back. He's dead. He is gone. That's a very interesting development. And honestly, I'm kind of excited. David, essentially we had the discussion. David was a class that people weren't really too fond of because he didn't really fit into the team. 30 stress going straight in here. Uh, he didn't really fit into the team very well. Uh, and on top of that, he his his sound design was a bit jarring. So we, we kind of thought, let's uh, let's have Chasey just just kill him. <laughs> I like I like that little backstory interaction there. But yeah, we shouldn't have too big of a problem here. I'm hoping this goes okay. Uh, we start off with this. This does help out a lot. Um, blanket fire is going to be a bit of a problem, but not if we dodge it. Slice nice. We're going to be having multiple things that hit us both here. Um, we're going to be taking on some stress on hits here as well. Shouldn't matter too much. That 10 hits a bit big, uh, really. Do that for 18 straight away. Um... So, Biting Blade's going to lower prot. These guys have prot, so let's go for that. Uh, we have a good chance to crit, but mainly we're looking for those debuffs. Uh, we're going to go for Q here. Oh, I was really hoping that'd kill, but it didn't. Um, but yeah, uh, we're mainly going to be using uh, Guy here for his debuffs. I think I think Guy's debuffs are going to be really, really powerful. Nice. Good amount of healing on Zai here. That's a big crit. That's a big crit with a crit bleed. That's rather big, but we can we can manage it. Do not fear. Um, let's cure up that and get the restoration going as well. Biting Blade. It'll finish you. Let's just go for the finish and then we're going to get a crit as well. We should get quite a lot. Yeah, there you go. Six stress heal off of that. That should hopefully keep us mostly healed up. I'm going to go for you. We're hoping for crits here as well, but we're not always going to get them. Um, Hammurabi does have a very wide damage range, so that's problematic. Unless that's six stress straight back again. Um, do you know what? Yeah, let's let's stress heal a little bit here. Lower the amount of stress you receive as well. And we'll party heal here. By the way, Zai did get nerfed a little bit since we last used her. Uh, she's not quite as overpowered now, but she is still very powerful nonetheless. Uh, let's have a look. Can Hugh kill here? Yeah, Hugh definitely kills you at least, so let's just go for that. And there you go, Biting Blade to finish off. One cool thing about Doom Guy, by the way, um, that's kind of interesting. But one good thing about Doom Guy, by the way, um, is that he does have this, this Bound for Glory BFG, and everything builds towards Bound for Glory until camp. So if we have a look at his buffs here, he has uh, plus thirty damage until camp, and then he can use that for a big attack. So if we're thinking about camping, essentially we should try and use Bound for Glory beforehand by switching to it uh, prematurely, and that should mean that we get a little bit more out of it. Unfortunately, empty crate there. We're not really looking for loot here. We're looking to escape with our lives. One thing I haven't done, I haven't used their book yet. I should really use that straight away. I'm going to take on some stress here. Lose some light. This shouldn't be all too bad, though. Nice dodge. Right. Um. We just go for the big heal on you. Nine. That's pretty decent. Um. We start with this for the extra crit. And we go for Biting Blade. We really want that to crit on its first hit, but it's not always going to. We want to be getting rid of this guy, but one thing we don't really have too much of is backline damage. That is sort of our biggest problem that I'm thinking of right now. We do not have a lot of backline damage. But we should be okay to deal with it for the most part. Let's, uh, let's clear some stress. Lower our stress as much as we can. That shouldn't push us. We should resist. Unfortunately, we didn't. Surprising. I thought we were, I really did think we were going to resist that. That is a little bit of a shame. That does put us in a, a rather tough spot here. Oh, we got possessed. It's fine because it means combat's not going to take as long, but being possessed isn't great. He resisted it anyways. Awesome. So we are going to lower this guy's prot here because he's already got plus prot. That's just about to say that's going to hurt, but we dodged it. Um, let's just move forward here. Might as well take our turn to do that. That's going to pull us. We've got a uh, minus move resist, so nope, we resisted it. Okay, surprising. Right, we'll keep our stress under check here because it's getting a little, it's getting a little much. We have two pretty good stress heals here. I think actually both of which lower the amount of stress we take. I think healing wise and everything here we should be pretty good and damage wise especially. Um, Spike Saber, Rip and Tear. We're just gonna have to go for Biting Blade to get rid of the body, aren't we? Unfortunately, we're gonna take another big stress hit here. But two turns of these guys is is sixteen stress reduction, so. Shouldn't matter too much, even if we get hit for 14. 
I'm gonna lower your stress mainly because yours is the most important to lower, I think. Fighting blade. There you go. There you go. Yours is under there now. And we finish off the kill. Lovely. Right, yeah, let's uh Let's read this. Buff us all for that extra XP. Don't want to forget to do that. Nice. Right, we're gonna ha we're gonna have to go all the way down this long corridor, even though we've not got it scouted or anything. We, we have to because for the uh, quest objective, Knight of Center rooms, we're gonna have to do these rooms. These guys, gargoyles, can be problematic mainly because of their movement. Um, they're gonna end up moving us at least once, I think here. Um, but they do go down really quickly. That is that is the good thing. They go down very quickly, so that shouldn't matter too much. I'm gonna heal you up while we're here. There you go. So, what sort of damage is Hugh going to do? Four to eight. This is almost guaranteed going to kill. I'd rather go for the guaranteed kill. Um, this isn't going to kill unless it's a crit. Unfortunately, really not getting many crits considering we've got plus 16%. And then I think we get plus from Sunasis' buff as well. There's the, sun on, uh, the, the stun on Sunasis, but that's not too bad. Um, let's just stress relief. Get everyone as low as we can. Another stun coming out here. That's not great. Yeah. Guy here is going to be doing a lot of the damage. These guys have pretty bad stun resist, actually. What sort of damage is that? It's not going to do enough. We could possibly get a kill here. We didn't. I had to go for it just in case. Please don't stun him again. Oh, nice one. Good, good, good. The stun is, is very problematic for Hammurabi because he's just... He doesn't need it. <laughs> he really doesn't. Um... We heal you this time, get you up to full. And stress relief on you. But this should be a, a relatively healthy party as long as we don't come across some really bad enemies. Go for the guaranteed kill there. And then, guy, you can finish this guy off. Sadly, not really as many crits as I was hoping for, but that's where it's got to be sometimes. Right. We don't have a fury, so I don't know whether we even keep that or not. I think we just get rid of that for the ruby, honestly. We're, n we're not going to use that. We don't have a Fury. I don't think we have a Fury anyways. Unless, is Mars a Fury? Mars might be a Fury. Either way, we have trinkets for him already, so I'm, I'm fine with getting rid of that. That may be seen as a bit of a bad decision, but I'm, I'm going to stand by it. I'm going to stand by it. Oh, hello there. That is... That is somewhat spicy. I think knowing that we don't have backline damage and we have someone on our team that has very low maximum HP, we can, in good faith, try that. That's going to be a hit. Pretty big hit. The stress is the, the bigger problem. Yeah, I think, I think as much as I want to go and do that, I have a feeling it'd be quite problematic simply because of... Um, nice. Really? A dodge? That's really bad. Um, simply because of... The team that we have and the, the amount of actual attacking power we have here, I don't really think it's enough. Um, go for you. Not quite a kill, but good damage nonetheless. Really don't want him to attack, to be honest. We don't want to get um, possessed. Another stab. He empowers first, though, so that's fine. The empower does last a while, though, so that could be problematic. Honestly, though, the damage here is low enough that Zai can really easily top everyone off, I think. Um, right. Yeah. Just top everyone off. De-stress ourselves here as well. St keep, we're keeping stress relatively low. Everyone's stress is around the same right now. Unfortunately, we're not managed to kill anything yet. Taking a bit of move and stun resist. You go for him again. Damn, he got observed. Fuck. He did get buffed from that, though. Nice, there's a crit. Nice stress relief. We've got a little bit of horror on us here. Let's just go for that and kill him. Being possessed isn't that problematic, but on a long mission, it can be. Just because of how how many rooms you got to go for with this observed thing, it could mean everyone else gets observed. Lead to some problems. We'll see, though. It depends how, how much it'll affect the ruins here. Nice. Cut you down to size. Finish you off. 
As long as we're not taking big crits here, we, we have more than enough healing to sustain the party. Pretty much everyone's up to full now. And even stress relief is, like, really easy for this group. Um, I think we just go and destroy a body here for Hamurabi. Ah, oh, his accuracy is... Unfortunately, has something to be desired. Bayonet jab coming in. Again, I'm get I'm keeping everyone at full HP here. It's the most sensical thing to do for us, I think. And you're done. Oh, huge, huge hits there. 50's pretty nutty. Um, this is just healing, so we, we don't need to do anything with that. Some stashed heirlooms, lovely. Uh, we, we ought to take a crest stack, really. Um, hmm. Currently, we have a lot of stuff. Do you know what? I brought the Loudenum. I'm not going to use it. We've got horror removal on Zai, so... I'm not, even if we take big horror hits, it's not going to affect us too much. I don't, I'm not, I'm not overly worried about that. This is a relatively annoying fight. Thank God we got the surprise to get some early damage here, but this is not a good fight. Um, stress relief there. Hmm. I think we always start off with this for the prot. The prot on accuracy. You've got high prot. Nice. Crit. Awesome. This should kill you. That makes the fight infinitesimally easier. Stress is going to be coming in hot and heavy here, but we can manage it. As long as we're not taking too much damage. This guy's the real contender. Because his adaptation, it really depends who he strikes and with what. What form he's in when he strikes people. It's another bit of stress there coming in. It's alright, we can manage it, we can manage it. I think we do this here. Let me go for the group heal here. Lots of prop. Just lower that a bit. Unfortunately didn't get any. Um, yeah. Of course the person that doesn't need healing gets a crit. But it's a stress heal, nonetheless. Of course you're going to see that... Um, our boy, our main man guy, is going to be taking on a good amount of the damage because he takes some more damage. He has worse armor. Nice dodge. Right, we're going to do a double heal on this guy now. I think we, I think that was necessary. What sort of stun? Yeah, we have massive stun resist. That's okay. Okay, I think one more good hit on this guy ends him. This is a very... Horrible. Nah, not quite. This is a very horrible form to be in for him to be in. Thank God we got that dodge. That makes me feel so much better. Let's go for double restoration here. We're gonna take some on some stress here. It's gonna be about tw yeah, twenty something. We can deal with that though. In fact, with him having another round of restoration, we can definitely deal with it. And there's a crit for the kill. Makes it ki a lot easier to kill this guy. Don't have a body in the way. One HP. He's going to get another turn out of this as well, isn't he? You tricky little minx. Of course you are. Thank God he couldn't use his pot, though. Um, heal you again. Stress relief myself. And stress is just absolutely said and done. Completely managed. Very interesting. So, on an attack hit, we lose HP. But on an attack hit, we... So, basically, every single attack, no matter what, does plus four damage to everything it hits. But every time we do it, we take damage. The, I, I guess the big get with this is Hue. If we, if we use Hue, that could be quite useful. I don't know how useful, though, but it could be quite useful. Hmm. I, again, though, do I really want to take that right now? I don't think so. It's it's cool, but we're not going to use it this dungeon. We need the space. We need the space. 
Right, a few blanket fires and big weapons coming in here. A lot of AoE. That's a crit. Luckily, he's got very high HP, so it doesn't hurt him all that badly. Ah, damn, we kind of want to go for him, really, don't we? Um, let's just do this. Get you with the damage received. Nice. And let's do some stress relief here. Yeah, on you. Especially considering we take less stress now. We, that's what we, that's the main thing we want out of it. Point blank shot hurts, but not not a heap. A wow, wasn't expecting that. I have to say, <laughs> wasn't expecting to kill that guy in a single hit. But I will more than happily take it. Right, let's do some AOE healing now. Stress is getting a little high on people, so we're going to keep lowering that. We'll get an AOE heal going, though. Everyone's a little bit weak. And Murabi's going to get a full heal next time as well. Possibly, actually, maybe not. Um, let's do that. Give me that healing. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Another big crit. Nice one, Hammurabi. Very, very positive. And the whole group's looking like a well-oiled machine right now, I think. We're all we're all doing pretty well. I could have got rid of that bleed, but... No, you know, we'll just do it. We'll get rid of it. Didn't get rid of his debuffs, though. Oh, another crit. Wow. Indeed, quickly the tide turns. Um, hmm. I think we stall this out a little bit. And we heal ourselves up. That's not going to kill him unless it crits, but it did. Cool. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Not what I expected, but it's okay. I'm going to take Sapphires over Onyxes here. Let's open that up. More hidden treasures. Lovely. Portraits. We still don't have a slot for portraits. God damn the inventory. Why is it so small? So small in this game. I would like more inventory, please. I'm going to get rid of my anti-venom because I don't, we haven't really been using it. Of course, we've got a battle on the way back, so why wouldn't we have? Oh, okay. It's a treasurer. We could get something good out of this. Although we can't hit back line, so I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt this is going to this is going to be a big a big get for us to be honest. Um let's just go a proper heal on you. Mm. Do that. Oh my god, let us have turns, please. Hmm. Try and stun him. Cue them two. Because he's stealthed. Yeah. Had a feeling. Oh, he didn't actually use getaway there. He just upped his dodge by a ton. Oh my god. Let my healers have a turn, please. I need my AoE heal on. Right. Definitely going to use that. Nice. Perfect crit. Fuck it. I'm just going to do that. We can't. We can't save this. We can't get the guy in the back. He's going he's gonna to run away on his next turn. And we just don't have any backline damage. Oh, that dodge definitely secures it as a goner. Vamos. Later, dude. He got away. We need Zai to get our AoE healing on here. Ooh. Doesn't that hurt quite badly? Oh, that was not good. I am definitely curing that off of you. Damn, no finishing blow. Nice. Okay, that, that, that didn't go too badly. I thought it was going to go worse. Blanket fires, just multiple blanket fires really causes problems. I'm going to try and get another turn out of this, of healing. I think we need it. And top your stress off as well. Yeah, that works out fine. He's going to go for a rush shot here. And he dodged. Nice. We get an even, uh, even get an extra turn. Everyone's up to full HP now. 
Okay, now we're in a good spot. Now we're in a very good spot. 41 crit. Holy hell. Good, good, good. Right. We'll probably have a few more battles on the way back here. But at least that whole path is cleared now. We still, we don't need to camp yet. Um, I do definitely want to camp to remove disease at some point. Um, let's have a look. How many more rooms do we actually have? Maybe once we clear this room, we'll do our first camping session. Because obviously we need to camp to get the full extent of, um, of the XP from the books. We don't need that at the minute either. Like the, the books that, um, Sunasis produces is what's giving us the bonus XP. I'm so tempted by that. Honestly, I am. But... It just feels like with our current setup, it would end really badly. If we could hit the thing reliably with Hammurabi, it'd be great, but we can't because it's a backliner. And it's so hard to push through and get to it. Right, we've got that. Just an extra torch, nothing else. Another curio here as well. We might as well open that up too. What you got for us? Some blood. We don't need the blood, unfortunately. We've got like 40-something of it tucked away. Nice and tight. Very terrible scout there. And here's some of the observed enemies. They're not too bad to deal with, to be honest. But they do they do cause some very, um, very strong debuffs. Um, let's do that on you. I don't know what they're going to do to you, sir. I want to be careful. As long as we can get big damage out there, we should be fine. Gonna guard him. Okay. Guard and stealth. Wow. That's kind of terrible, dude. Luckily here we can hew the... Does damage through the stealth. In fact, we want to keep this guy alive in front so that we can hew again. 2, 10, 4, 14. Do it on you. Okay, buffed them. There's the buff. Look, there's the crit chance as well. That's the that's the major problem. Horror. Right. So I think we just do that. Yeah, okay. This is this has worked out fine. Lower your stress. Now we can hew. Yeah, and it guarantees kills them too. Remove that horror. Not that the stress cure was needed, but removing the horror is very nice. And here's that bleed amount. Plus 50 bleed duration received. So we definitely want to do that. Nice crit. That was huge. Let's just finish that thing. Sorry, can't take any of that. I am indeed going to use a bandage on four... For healing, but whatever. <laughs> Not the best usage, but I'm going to go for it. Right, I'm going to go around to this room here, and that's where we're going to camp. Because that means we've got two battles before camping. Trying to get the most out of this, if you know what I mean. Also, I'm trying to... It sounds stupid, but I'm trying to get any diseases that we take out of the way before camping so that we can make sure we can remove them. Right, we go with Hugh again here. Um, seven, four... Okay. Zero stress. Zero stress. Hmm. This is going to be a stress hit. I don't care. We can deal with stress so easily that I just don't care. As long as I hit the stealth guy, I don't mind there. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Zai is doing great right now. Well done. Taking on some bleed damage. That's okay. Come on, guy. Oh, the crit's for 11. He always gets crit for exactly 11. What's that about? Um, we're going to cure that off of him and give him the uh, the dot. You can be cured up. And let's just stress relief him. Nice. Him getting that dodge is very important right now. And that kill also. Okay, another dodge there. Go for the Hue, because we know we're going to get that kill at the front. Hopefully we can get another party heal in here. Nice dodge. Amurabi's doing great on the dodges right now. Great healing there as well. Stress relief even more, sir. And you're done for. 
Beautiful damage here, guys. This group is just killing it. Right, we've got one more fight here, then we'll camp. What in the ever-living shit is that? What the fuck? Um... Um... Yeah, I'm... This is scary. I don't know what that guy does. <laughs> I, I have a feeling he brings things back to life. I am scared. I will tell you that. I am scared as hell. Okay, we're gonna go for a big kill on this guy straight away. If he can respawn things, though, we have a problem. Being able to clear horror here is especially nice. Right. Crit. Is that a blight? Oh, that's... Okay, at least he went for a healer. That debuff doesn't actually matter because it's on our healer, but that's a huge debuff and probably a huge buff for him. Yeah, 10 crit. He needs to die so fast. I mean, lat latch us up with as much horror as you can, mate. It's not going to mean anything. As long as you... This is a lot of weird debuffs. Horror gone. Stacked it all on one character, and it's all gone. Ah, God, that was so loud. <laughs> that was so loud. My restoration here. Heart stopper. What the f... What? Okay, I, I, we might die here. Holy shit, dude. No. The hell is this guy? The horror. I have to go for the party heal, even though we're at such low HP. You, dude, you've got to kill this guy. You've got to. You've got to. Okay, thank God. That, I can't believe that heart stopper thing that he just did. That's insane. That is such a ridiculously high amount of healing. And a speed buff as well. Wow. This is this is a fight to behold. This guy's like a mini boss. Thing is, we can't really do anything about this either. Because we've got to heal. Um... I'm going to try something risky. Oh, yes. Cleansed all those debuffs. I don't know what Soul Reaper is. This dude's legit like a boss. I have to go with the damage received. You need to die now. If we can crit you. Oh, if we can just miss. Great timing on that miss, thanks. Oh, my God. At least he's focusing on Doom Slayer. That's all I have to say. Right. 18 healing pair round. Right. Um, party heal, it's gotta be. You are taking so much stress, my dude. We need the stress heal from that. Dude, need to crit, please. He, he can't do that healing attack again. Not to mention we got this fucker in the back just chilling. Right, we have to clear that horror. Absolutely have to. Okay, what's that? 50% healing received. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so brutal. Um, This is so brutal. We hit 100. Fuck! Masochist. Holy hell. One HP. Of course he's got one HP left. Oh my god. That was insane. Right, stress healing is now priority. But before that we need to actually heal.
Wow. Oh my god. Get out of the way, body. Done. Why? <laughs> just... You just had to, didn't you? Okay, we've got to get him down to zero. We absolutely have to, so... Of course he's going to refuse. Just stress you yourself, then. If he refuses, that's what we've got to do. Wow. That thing was insane. <laughs> I have to say, that was mental. <laughs> right. Now we've got a... Oh, we need a space to put the book. I can give up... I can give up emeralds for the book. Right. Okay. Did you take stress for that? What are you doing? How do... What? How did you take... What? What? <laughs> I do not understand, right, um, produce a book. Thank you. Then, let's have a look. Thing is, only one person has a disease, and it's this one, so that's six points. That's a lot to spend. Let's see what else we can do. I think we definitely do that. You're a fucking cunt. Did he just use that and use the respite cost and did nothing? Fuck you. <laughs> that was so mean. I didn't know that this could happen. Right. We got our next book. At least. I didn't use Bound for Glory. I should have switched to Bound for Glory before that fight. You're right. I know. I can hear you telling me. You are right. Right, we've got, we've, we've got a task at hand here. We have to get rid of his masochism. Because it's going to be a problem. we got to push through and get rid. God damn, we, we got, the thing is though, we got to not have stress dealers for that to happen. That was that was an insanely insanely crazy fight, but it was also very cool. I did enjoy it. It was just pretty mental. Okay, here's our fight. One stress dealer in the back and the observer, which can do stress. We just we just wail on him with stress relief at the minute, I think. That's a huge crit there. That helps a lot. They're gonna go straight back for him again, I think. And stress dealers, that is. Oh no, okay. Eldritch pull and a miss as well, even better. And empower there doesn't do anything to hurt us. That hurts, but okay, no, it doesn't. Good. Wow, this has been stressful. Of course, there you go. Oh, just Eldritch push. Don't, don't care. Honestly, don't care. But possess, I do care about possess. You're gonna possess him, aren't you? Oh no, he resisted. He resisted. It did stress everyone out, though. And how do you miss with that, dude? Come on, now. How are we only down to 88 stress? <laughs> oh, really? Did you have to? Did you have to? I wanted to stall this fight for a while. Now I can't. Oh wait, you can't do that from the front. Did not know that. Did not know that. Nice dodge. Okay, down to 80. Wasn't wasn't wanting a double kill there really, but we got it. Stun chance prop while guarding. Ah, that's not really that good. It's only worth 15 as well because it's one of the uh, enemy drop ones. I'm going to leave that. All of the uh, ones from the en enemy drop mod don't sell for good money, which is understandable considering they're just random drops from enemies. It'd be a bit overpowered if they did. Oh, wait. Definitely reorganize the party. Make sure to do that. <laughs> 
But yeah, we're down to 80 stress. It looks like by the end of this mission, we're not going to get him down to zero. I mean, we can try, but it just doesn't seem likely at this point. We've made it through most of the rooms, though. A few easy fights would, would go a long way right now. A lot of food to eat. These guys are really hungry. But yeah, a few easy fights would go a really long way in helping us get there. I don't know if we'll get any of those, though. In in level 4 dungeons, it's kind of rare to get easy things happening. Oh, and you trap him for 20 stress. You're such a dick. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Why? Why him? Okay, we got one of these fights. Uh, sadly, though, yeah, str just, let's just give up on relieving his stress, honestly, but we can't because if we, he'll, he'll just die of a heart attack if we don't. But honestly, it's just going really badly so far. Really, really badly. You only do 10 damage to him. It's pathetic. Right, we're going to keep lowering it and trying, but don't know how it's going to go. What have you got? Pessimist. Just 14 stress on top of everything. Really, dude. You had to take 14 stress on top of everything, didn't you? Just healed you for 16. And immediately is like, nope. Bye. Oh, this is just... It's, it's futile. Every time. Every time we get him to a good, a good, nice, healthy level. The game's like, no, no, no. Not today. And then you hit him as well. That's not too bad. 21? No, that's terrible. Leaf and a crit. And a crit. For how much more stress? Oh, another 14 stress. Great. He's only on 137 now. How? Leave my boy alone. Guy can't take this. There's a crit. I need to I need to heal him up. He's hurting. My god, we have to keep stress healing him so he will have a heart attack. But this this dude has a fucking 5% chance of hitting. No, he doesn't. He's like a 50% chance of hitting someone and he hits this dude every motherfucking time. Oh, I was hoping for another crit there. That would have helped out a lot. That's big. Please, please at least dodge this time. Nope. Another 16 stress. We're, to we're so toast here. Please crit. Fuck you. God damn it. Oh, you can't be serious with a miss. You just can't be serious. Come on now. Don't do it again. Him again? Could you not just leave him alone? Despite all odds, we've managed to get his stress down a good bit. I'm going to try and stun him. He resisted. Fuck. No! How do you dodge again? What? What? It's just... Oh my god. How does it keep happening? Don't you dare. Thank you. End that thing's life. Please. Holy hell. I'm going one more room and I'm camping. Even if this room's comp- Okay, that- that's pretty good, right. Gotta do it on this guy. Thirty percent damage. Lovely. <sighs> this is just stressful. This game, this late on. Holy hell, is it stressful. Holy hell, right. We camp here. Okay, good. Right, so you produce your book. I don't know why that stresses everyone out. 
Plus 10 stress. Okay, that's not too bad. That makes sense. Um, then we prevent Nighttime Ambush here. And I was hoping to remove Disease here, but I guess we're not going to get the chance to do that. Please let this work. Okay, thank God it did. My God. Holy hell. Right, let's keep going. One moment. Right, I'm back. Right, uh, okay, let's carry on through. So, we're a bit stressed out at the minute, but it's not awful. There's, there's, there's... It depends on the combat we get, essentially. That's really bad. Please don't hit us. <laughs> Please don't hit us. Yes. Just because we need to, we need these guys for stress relief. We need these guys for stress relief, so keep that going. Oh, please. Oh, and it crits. That's guaranteed stun if it crits. And stress as well. Eight and five. Why'd you get eight, then five? Um, just go for the hits here. Hoping for crits for the stress relief. Nice. We kind of want to take these out pretty quick. We don't want to stall with these guys. They can deal a lot of damage. Do a lot of bad for us. Double stun. Now she's going to resist. Good. She resisted. Nice. Come on. Get a crit. Get a crit. Get a crit. This pessimist thing is so annoying. He just randomly is like, Meh. Boo-hoo. I'm sad. Uh, also, we can right-click to get that buff going and take some of that. 250 resolve XP. Lovely. Right. We should be okay from now on, I think. As long as we don't get another one of those enemies. We do get an observed dude. What the hell? A <laughs> hundred... Oh, we got one of these dudes. I forgot about these dudes. These dudes are the worst. The absolute worst. I forgot how bad they were. What does this guy do? Oh, you're just buffing him up. This is a bad bit of combat. This is a really bad bit of combat. That... That helps out a massive amount, though. Holy hell does that help. You're gonna guard him, are you? Another huge hit. Awesome. If we can get another one of those. One more he will kill that thing, actually. Oh. Goggins Gears, select hero. Ah, I don't like this. I'm going to select you. Plus 1001 speed. The fuck? I don't, I don't know what Goggins Gears just did to us there, but I'm a little scared. Uh, I'm going to cure you up. We're going to do a double heal on you, actually. Nice. Bit of stress relief as well. Right, Hugh here stops you, but that this guy could be revived. But luckily, both these didn't leave a body, so I don't think this guy can revive them if there's no body. So that's, that's helped us out immensely. Immensely, immensely. Defend the icon. Okay. Please get us a crit. Aha, Gorgon's Gears. That's part of it. Him hurting himself. But there's another crit. Stress healing's going good. Nice. That went better than I expected it to. And we got some cool stuff. Oh, by the way, we've got a new class called Hive. Um. Right, what's this? Plus 25% healing skill, plus death blow resist, plus stun resist, scout chance in the ruins. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm not going to take that, though. We haven't had a secret room this time around, though. That's a bit, bit of a bummer. Don't be such a pessimist, you fool. Right, this should be our last room. Another one of these guys. Not too problematic with this enemy composition here. I really want to get rid of this off him before we leave the mission, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to heal up next round, though, I think. Impressive. 
Wow. <laughs> Very impressive. Defend the icon. Nice. Hoping for a crit, but nothing. Unholy rally. Back he comes. Yeah, if there's a body, you can revive them. Interesting. Okay, we definitely need to heal now. Unfortunately, sir. I am still going to do that, though, because your healing's not that good. I am going to just kill the body here. I really want to get some healing going on. Oh, you had to resist it, didn't you, you shitbag? Do you know what? Fuck it, I'm getting rid of this and then healing you. Then you'll stop being such a whiny bitch. Okay, we can stall with this guy, I think. I'm going to say that, that can't kill him, so that's okay. That heals you up a little bit. Right, now we've got to st st uh, stress release Zai a little bit, because Zai's kind of gone off the deep end a little bit. She's on, like, 60-something. But I'm surprised we managed to do that. We managed to get all the stress off of him, which is rather nice. We did crit him. No stun, though. No stalling stun, so we're just going to kill him. I was hoping for a stalling stun there, but we didn't get it. Right. Hmm. Hope throwing away those bandages was not a mistake right then. Okay, there you go. We are done. It should... It's, it's a question of do we go for these next few. I don't think we do. Let's just return home safe and sound. That has been a very arduous and difficult mission. This should get everyone to level six. We will find whatever secrets they hold. There we go. Everyone's level six. Guy all the way up there. Consumes their thought of that inadequacy. That's not great. Weak knees. That's not great either. But pretty good mission nonetheless. I think we're going to do that with Sunasis quite a lot. She's going to be coming out in a lot of these. Idle hives getting plus one resolve. We don't have a hive at the minute unless we can get one this week, which would be quite nice um well there you go so guys we have um a hive to play with if you want to um also we have this guy too we have a few new classes to introduce next week if you guys want to start writing some backstories for those dudes that'd be pretty good um yeah we'll bring this guy on as well to be honest why not oh Interesting. He seems like a decent healer. Got a lot to do with the Crimson Curse, actually. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's that's another cool thing to go with. In time, you will know the um, got good money here. Let's make sure to take off. Unequip all of our trinkets. Um, and let's just, while we can, before we use Sunasis again, let's just get rid of this. We won't use her next week, but there you go. But yeah. Nice amount of leveling up there. By the way, another thing that I've done is I've turned off level restrictions for uh, taking people out on adventures simply because there might come a time where we literally don't have a healer to use because we we do outweigh damages to healers by quite a number. Um, so that's a just-in-case measure. And so also it means we can bring Stunasis out on lower level missions if need be. But let's check here on, um, on our Nomad Wagon, see what else we got here. Um... Mm, nothing really necessary there. Plague Doctor. Bit of damage. I... I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that right now. Silver Syringe. Straight up flat... Uh, let's start by class. Um, straight up flat. Lovely bit of... Um, healing there. Wait a minute. This looks wrong. Okay, that's why. <laughs> I'm, I'm too far. There you go. Straight up flat 35% healing skill. That's going to go really nicely with a few other things, especially if we just pair it with, like, this thing here. Going to be a really, really good bit of healing on other healers there. Uh, but, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We do have one more diary entry before we end it off, and this is another one uh, about the Chasey story with David, and this is by TA for Beth Old Man at Arms. While I was on patrol on the outer edges of the hamlet, I saw David and Chasey leaving to the outskirts of the Weald on their own. Only Chasey returned. 
If I go to those woods and find David's corpse, hell will be raised. So he's going to be mad about that, but why wouldn't he be? But yeah, looking good so far. I wonder everyone's got this little icon next to him. We've got this little stress icon next to him, look. Everyone has it. Not quite sure that was, that, what that's about, but I'll be happy with it nonetheless. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.